It's been a while since my last update. After what felt like a very long and cold German winter, we got spoiled with a perfect summer. Hi, my name is Julian. I'm a husband, dad and business owner from Berlin, Germany. And this channel is all about living a rich and meaningful life. In July, our daycare was closed for three weeks. Like every year, I get anxious when this happens. This is because during this time, I can only work for a limited amount of time. And our two kids still need constant supervision. One of my favorite memories this summer was when my family and I went for an early morning swim at a beautiful lake in Berlin. We also went on a vacation to Norway, which was amazing. The sections of this video are private, investing, business and a book that I've enjoyed reading. continues to be a wild ride with two children at home. The best thing that happened to us this year was that our second child also started attending the daycare center. This has opened new ways for my wife and I to spend our time, like having uninterrupted time to discuss things, to go out for lunch or to go to our favorite spa in Berlin. In 2023, I hired two full-time account managers. January to June were the best months I ever had in my business, so I decided to take a chance and continue to hire. One big motivator for me is the current state of the economy. I've seen two or three rent increases already this year. With inflation on the rise, I got more motivated than ever to take my business to the next level. I was secretly looking at other business models in the past, thinking that something else might deliver better returns. However, I realized that the best thing to do is to work with what I already have and it turn it into something extraordinary. Also, in the past I was much more afraid to onboard new clients and scale my business. Today my firm belief is that bigger is actually better. With two new hires in 2023, there's been a shift in what I consider to be my most important task at work. My priority is to get new customers and keep existing ones happy for as long as possible. Interestingly, my book recommendation comes directly from my dad. The book title is The Confident Mind by Dr. Nate Zinser. The book explains why self-confidence is necessary and how to become more self-confident. I always thought that I was already quite self-confident. However, I learned that self-confidence isn't something we acquire once and never lose it. Similar to muscle, self-confidence can be trained and improved. What I like about this book is that it gives practical advice about what we can do to become more self-confident. The two things that I took out of this book and applied to my life are, first, I tried the ESP exercise the author lets top athletes do. E stands for effort, S for success, and P for progress. At the end of the day, I find some things for each category and note them in my journal. And the other thing I started doing is to repeat some specific affirmations. For this, I took the author's advice. I found one affirmation for a skill I'd like to have, another for an action I'd like to regularly take, and a third for a result I'd love to have. It becomes interesting now because the author suggests saying these affirmations each time we walk through a door. While I'm tempted to share my three affirmations with you, I won't do it. This is because I don't want to risk taking away their power. One hint here, it's good to affirm a skill, action and result that you don't already have. The author uses the example of an athlete who keeps affirming a specific time she desires to run. I've been saving and investing nearly 40% of my net income. For the moment, my wife and I refuse to upgrade our lifestyle. Instead, we prioritize peace of mind and staying completely debt free. I'm saving cash because the US stock market seems overvalued in 2023. In the last five years, I've seen a 78% increase in my S&P 500 ETF and a 120% increase in my Apple shares. However, when recording this video, my total return on everything I bought thus far is around 20%. Since I started buying stocks and ETFs about five years ago, I have only once sold a position so I follow a strict buy and hold strategy. Suppose you're an investor or would like to become one. In that case, I encourage you to read the excellent book Richer, Wiser, Happier or watch my comprehensive review of the same book. This is for another life and business update. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please subscribe to this channel and give this video a thumbs up. Thanks and until next time.